This is Cornbread's review. Hey, this is Cornbread's review. This is Cornbread's review. Talk about the hottest movies, old damn new. Cinema breakdown, grasping the truth. No acting, I leave that for the cast and the crew. The caption the cool, not theatrical rules. So you better be direct or you have to produce something to break in like last minute news and keep quiet when the real boy met in the rules. Woo. Yo, welcome back, people. Come on, man. I appreciate y'all for welcoming me back in your home, back onto your computer, back on your TV screen, YouTube channel, everything. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Cornbread. Hey, make sure y'all follow me too. You know what I'm saying? I want some love too. But Cornbread Movie Review, we are back again with another review. And this one um, is sneaky. We'll get into what I mean by that. All right, y'all ready? If you're new to the channel, my fault. All right, no disrespect. If you're new to the channel, understand I do each movie. Um, I break it down in five different categories. All right, acting, cinematography, storytelling. Did I get what I bought? And then is it a must see? Best score you can get is five. Add it up, spits out a cornbread movie review. And then voila, it ranks between other movie reviews that I did for this year, 2023. And then, of course, I got y'all for a forgotten movie. All right, so let's get into this thing. Today, Cornbread is going to be reviewing the movie Missing. Ladies and gentlemen, Missing is out now. It's in theaters. It's PG-13. And let, let's get straight to it, man. I, I ain't going to be missing no, uh, no content in this. So let's get straight to it. First category is acting. Who is in this movie? You got Storm Reed. Man, she's a baller, bro. A baller, baller, baller. So she plays um, a teenage character. I think she's about to turn 18 in this movie where she's still battling with grief, man. And we're going to get into what I mean by that. But she's still battling with that. Um, also defying her mother. I understand I want my independence. But some things happen where it's like, no, she got to turn up. Now she's got to be an adult. Now she has to figure out certain things. Now somebody's in trouble and she has to help them. So the different roller coaster of emotions that she went through, um, you, you felt that. <clears throat> also in this movie, Nia Long. I think she gets forgot about on a lot of, she's in a lot of sneaky movies that she does her thing. Unfortunately for me, I wish she had a bigger role in this movie because you missed how good she is as an actor. It made sense for the movie, but me personally, I'm like, man, I want some more Nia Long because she's killing every scene. And you know what I'm talking about if you've seen this movie, okay? <clears throat> Both characters are, are you, you feel the pain and the loss. And then the Nia, Nia Long, her and her new boyfriend, um, dealing with uh, parenting issues and, and the things that they go through. And I'm like, man, I'm learning how y'all doing it. Or uh, I feel your pain and I feel your struggle on certain things with connecting with your kids. So, you know, I took some notes, man. Hey, I'm, I, like I said, whoever wrote this, I appreciate that. But... The totality of this group uh, acting, everybody did their job. For me, it's going to be a four out of five in this category. I felt it. I felt it. So that's always good when you get those little tinglys on certain scenes that you're like, man, I'm there with you. I feel that with you. I'm confused with you. So always want to uh, bring that home when I'm watching movies, okay? So four out of five for me. Next category, cinematography. So this movie's an hour and 45 minutes, and I'm gonna say it actually felt longer, which is good because it's like you're on, look, I'm on, on the edge of your seat watching this movie. And the reason how they do that is like certain, the music on certain scenes, the dark colors, uh, the suspense, other things like that, where you have to be creative because this movie, I hope this isn't true. This movie took $7 million, the budget. Seven million. Come on, man. We got we to gotta do better, man. Especially with the good movies. We got to do better. <clears throat> now, this movie takes place in L.A. Uh, you don't really get to see too much of L.A., but you just know that they moved to L.A., right? Um, it makes sense why this movie was, was a small budget because of the, let's say, the filming style was not original. So, basically, if somebody had um, a camera... Uh, a camera on their phone, a camera on the laptop, surveillance, somebody FaceTime and things like that. That's the footage that you're seeing, right? So it's not actual 
uh, even the ring, um, you know, the, the ring that you put in front of your house, like you even saw that footage. So it's like you're stuck and you're witnessing it through the lens. It's um, so more it's a more style of like social media filming. Like you see a lot of, um, let's say, TikToks and Instagrams and uh, there were some dating websites and then uh, a lot of emails. So you're looking at the story. So when the character sees something and acting, you're seeing it in real time when they're looking stuff up, which is pretty cool, but it can get kind of boring as well. Like, all right, where are we going with this? Um, damn near the chick didn't even leave the house. <laughs> Storm character. She didn't even leave the house for the whole damn new movie. You know what I'm saying? Why are you watching it? So it does, it does get kind of repetitive in that uh, filming style. And it's not original at all. We've seen plenty of movies like this. So for me, cinematography is going to get a 3.5 out of 5. Next category, storytelling. <clears throat> like I said, uh, this movie starts off in 2008. I don't be giving, y'all know me, bro. I'm going to give y'all a little bit to get my point across, but I'm never going to give spoilers, okay? So this movie starts off in 2008 where... You have Storm's character, Nia Long's character, um, and then they have a dad, right? So the dad goes through it. Um, does he pass away or he doesn't? Um, but, you know, I guess in, with a brain tumor, so he passes away. So then they fast forward to now where she's still dealing with grieving with that. She still misses her dad. So that sets the tone with this. In the trailer, you see where, all right, the mom takes a vacation and then she comes up missing. That's the point of this. And then you find out what happened, who did it, who's involved, who's not involved. How did we even get to this point? This movie really took time for the details. When I say she's hurting, they gave you certain scenes to let you know she was hurting. So um, she wanted to have a party, but then it was Father's Day. So she, let's say she got drunk and then she went through it and you could tell she still misses her father. And then you get the dynamic of her and her mother's relationship. She was doing her mother bogus bogus dog like even cropping her out of pictures and not answering her calls and different things like typical teen stuff but this would seem like this was like hate or envy so when somebody comes up missing this chick was a hell of a detective i'm telling you just her brain how she was trying to solve things and and report to the cops and working behind the scenes and um having somebody help her do this doing stuff illegally or legally um all the stuff from her house which like I said, it's a great thing, but it's like, come on, you have to get out the house if you really want to help solve this issue. Um, I really enjoyed how, uh, I ain't know Google was this helpful. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching, I'm like, damn, Google could do all this? I, maybe I need to step my game up. Even like the little plot holes that they had, they filled them in later in the story. So great job. It seems like somebody watched this movie and was like, all right, well, that doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, and then they plug those holes in. Or... Um, you're getting that the information in real time. It's not like you know something the main character doesn't know. When the main character knows, you know at the exact same time. So they filled it in later in the movie. Great job of filming in that and storytelling with the secrecies of that as well. It was one major glaring issue I had where I thought they said they grew up in Texas. But then her childhood was in Texas, but then they're in L.A., and then something happens when they're back in Texas, but it's like same time. The timing does not add up. It does not add up for me. Hey, I'm, I'm just a crit, the movie critic. It doesn't add up. So I think that was one major issue that they had to clear up or unless I'm wrong in how long it takes to get from point A to point B, we got to do a little bit better with that. But overall, that's not going to spoil the storytelling. So for me, it's going to get a 4.5 out of 5. And storytelling very suspense all right man i you you think you know you don't you don't next category did i get what i bought this movie is standard man 10 to 15 dollars depending on when you go uh, movie theaters wasn't packed unfortunately this movie might be on streaming platforms pretty soon that might be just because of the box office numbers but that doesn't mean that the movie's not good this movie is a missing drama and when i say that is from beginning to end, things get real. They get busy. Um, you basically, you're, you may feel like you could be in this situation. And how do you help? And uh, luck has to be on your side. Relationship has to be on your side. And just the sh sheer willpower to survive and live and, and um, overcome your fears and different things like that. <clears throat> 
This movie is basically a web full of lies. <laughs> good or bad. You could tell, like, oh, they lying. But then they lying, but it's for a good thing. And then the other person, you'd be like, all right, that's good, a good thing, but it turns out to be bad. You don't know what's going on in this movie. So that's why I enjoy it. It is not predictable at all. To me, all the movies I'll be watching, I'll be like, all right, I know where this is going. I couldn't tell. Uh, it was not predictable. And then how they tie the whole story together. Like, uh, I give you a hint, like of Netflix. That's all I'm going to say. That's just the hit, Netflix. But how they tie that whole thing together. You think something's minuscule and irrelevant to the story, but it ties in later. So brilliant. Did I get what I bought? I'm going to say a 4.5 out of 5. The trailer does just enough to reel me in, but the movie, hey, hey, pff, pff, y'all did a great job, man. So movie, did I give it a ball? I'm going to say a 4.5 out of 5. Last category. Come on, we're getting through this thing. Is it a must-see? Once again, this is what they say, a nail-biter, the edge of the seat. Very, uh, like you said, you could tell how I'm acting right now, man. I, I was shocked on, um... How, the, how it was going. I thought I knew where it was going. I, I didn't. And um, even the end on how things ended with there. It didn't end how I thought it was. So that's great. And I, I like to see where you have a movie with low marketing. Low, low, I mean, damn near any marketing. And a low budget. Knock it out the park. Shoot up. This is what I look for in movies. Uh, you can't fool me with the 200 budget movies and then it's all computerized and expect me to be like, oh, that's the best movie ever. Just because you sold the most tickets and stuff like that doesn't mean it was a good movie. So um, for me, is it a must see? I'm gonna say a five out of five, bro. I'm not playing. Go see this movie and let me know what you think, if you like it, didn't, or whatever. So overall, what? We are starting a year off like this? Overall, missing receives a 4.5 out of 5 from Cornbread? Come on, man. Check out my 2023 20, movies. Uh, I, I can't believe it either, bro. I, <laughs> hey, I couldn't believe when I was watching. I'm like, this movie's good, man. So let me know what you think about it. Now we are at the forgotten segment, okay? This movie. What's a forgotten segment? Of course, my fault, my, my apologies, man. So this is a movie that um, you either forgot about, you never heard of, or you definitely feel like, yeah, I need to double back. I did see that when it came out and I liked it, but I just forgot about it, right? So this is, I'm giving y'all different movies like that. So this movie came out in 2006. It's a drama um, with magicians. And this movie is The Prestige. I'm not playing. Make sure y'all go see The Prestige. This movie has Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman. It, it's, it's two rival magicians defying the odds of magic and competing against each other, maybe doing some illegal stuff or not, um, but always trying to one up. And you see if somebody wins or loses. But uh, mystery, like I said, this is a, a drama, magic. Make sure you check this out, The Prestige. Make sure you check out Missing. Make sure you check out my other videos. I'm not playing. I'm hitting y'all movies back to back to back to back. I ain't played yet. Come on, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I love y'all. And I'll be back again next week, man. I'm not playing. Holla at your boy. Peace.